guys are in town for the Parklight Festival going down on Atlantic Station this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you're here for a couple days. Is there stuff that you want to check out in Atlanta? Things you had heard you got to do? Hmm. We've spent so much. I feel like we may have done. I've just not. We have done everything in Atlanta. Really? But we've been playing here. This is probably like the first city outside of Mississippi that we ever played. We've been playing. I think the first time we played Atlanta was like, oh seven maybe. Something like that. It was like, the first like fifteen. Mississippi is sixteen years old. Close enough place when we were young, we could actually tour here and. Yeah. So how often do people tell you you need to go to the Claremont after your shows? All the time. All the time. We yeah. actually we did like a. Yeah. Yeah, we did like a Kickstarter for. Our, our first van maybe four years ago and one of the like the prizes I guess was like a house show and one of our somebody that did it like every time that they you know would make the donation I would say make sure you've got a house that's for what, us that's to play the show yeah, or like exactly. your, you know your friends with the, your local bar or something like that and um, <laughs> this one guy was like we're doing it at the Claremont Lounge and Fair. unfortunately it never happened but I was so excited. excited <laughs> You're not going to tell me Post you guys haven't been yet. Yeah. I actually haven't. We, I, we've never been. I met so Blondie at So after party knees. on Sunday, right? Yeah. What's, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm so in. Okay, well, that's that's happening. We'll talk about that yeah. off camera because, you know, I don't want right. to get too we'll R-rated. We're PG. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We're absolutely. a very PG band. Uh, so I want to talk about uh, the latest single you guys released, and that's a little bit of a misnomer because it's actually the first song that you guys ever wrote when you were baby weeks. Baby mm -hmm. weeks. Fifteen years old, right? Buttons. Yep. Around there. Yeah, Around for, yeah I was. Yeah. I think it, the other boys may have been sixteen. I'm the baby. Okay. I was fifteen. <laughs> the other guy's the old one. Sixteen, you know, old age of sixteen. Uh, but yeah, we we sort of gave it a new treatment. We are um, we're firm believers in that like a song is not really defined by like the studio version, but you know, you play it night in and night out, you know, and it's sort of like, it changes. it changes. And sometimes for the better and some part, you know, and so it's like, there's really not, it's really, uh, it's really subjective, you know? And um, we did it when we were 15. We weren't really, when we were in the studio making that album, we weren't of the mindset of like, well, let's really lock it down and make sure every part, let's get the tempo right. Let's, we didn't use click track. Really, we just really went in there like, how really loud can I turn this amp? without like blowing your studio up. And that was really the only question we asked before we went into it. And um, I think now that we're older and we've, you know, we've spent a lot of time in the studio, we wanted to sort of see what we could make it sound like if we re actually did take down into like pre-production and like evaluating every single part and every single vocal part and, you know, and figuring out how concise we can make this song. And if to have new fans and being, you know, reaching new people, that's a new song for everyone that hasn't heard it before but to us it's an old song so yeah. to and it's a little to bit of new life and it's, it's yeah just, it's but i mean we it played it so slow when we first did it yeah <laughs> i think i think yeah. it's like six <laughs> minutes long <laughs> yeah i mean that being like you one of your guys first songs that's got to be one that when you play hometowns that everyone's really stoked to hear right yeah, yeah it's Definitely. always been a fan favorite we get a little rowdy that's the thing is like once you once you play these songs long enough like with new stuff, you kind of have to be a little bit more reserved when you play, you know, and pay, pay attention. But to get it right. I've played, yeah. I could be in a vegetative state and still play buttons perfect. And so at this point, like, we have, we're sort of, our bodies are more free to move around the stage and kind of get rowdy. Yeah. Speaking of uh, your hometown, so you guys moved from Jackson, Mississippi up to Nashville, but uh, you can't get out of the South. Uh, no, what is it uh, about these here, uh, south of the Mason-Dixon line states, that uh, continues to inspire you guys? It's just the pace. Yeah. I think the pace of life is what we're used to. Like, um, the pace and the okra. Yeah. And uh, okra. Pace, fried okra, <laughs> sweet, sweet tea. tea. But, I mean, mainly it's, it's not, a, I mean, yeah, the pace has a lot to do with it, but just the people. I mean, we go everywhere, and I'm, yeah, there are nice people everywhere, but they not like the South. The South is not quite as nice. filled with nice people. I mean, strangers will smile at you, and that makes you feel good. So, yeah, I mean, you can open doors for people like yeah. your mama taught you to, and, yeah, they don't and they don't look at you get funny, mad at you. So that's... <laughs> I struggle with that. 